One of the key things uh, to bear in mind is that ethical issues are everywhere. Uh, whether we're uh, trying to decide uh, where to shop or trying to decide how to vote in an election, uh, these are you know, at the very extreme ends of everyday activity and once, uh, on a, once every four years. It's really important for us to understand that ethics comes into play. And so when I say deciding where to shop can be an ethical issue, I mean it might matter to you whether uh, the, the company or the service provider that you're going to hire has ethical uh, values in place in their organization. For instance, they're committed to something like sustainability or they're committed to uh, a, a low carbon footprint. Uh, these are things that you might value and you'll find a company that values that as well and that might be the ethical uh, uh, underpinning of the decision that you're going to make. Similarly, if you're voting on large-scale issues like immigration policy or uh, our uh, health care system, aspects of our health insurance system, or on uh, a woman's right to have an abortion, each of these uh, topics has a very strong uh, ethical valence, and it's important for us to be able to reason ethically about the decisions that we make. So. An ethical issue is one in which there's a conflict between values. Now, it's one thing to describe that conflict, right? So I can describe it as a scientist would describe his or her observations in a particular experiment. I can tell you, for instance, that 49% of the population believes uh, that justice ought to prevail in this particular situation. 37% think that it has to do with personal responsibility. Now that's a fact of the matter. There is this, uh, these data that support that. And that's just a description of public opinion about the topic. I might also describe what I mean by justice and what somebody else means by personal responsibility and tell you a little bit more about the conflict between those values in this case. But all I'm doing so far is just describing a conflict. Ethics involves not just describing a conflict, but also analyzing it breaking it down, really understanding where the disagreements take place, and really then trying to figure out if it's possible to move beyond mere disagreement. One of the most important things to begin with is to know what an ethical issue is. And an ethical issue typically involves conflict between uh, ethical principles or values that we hold dear. So it might be the case that you are interested in uh, one ethical value, let's say it's justice, and I'm interested, uh, I'm also interested in justice, but in this case I think what really matters is, uh, is a concern for personal responsibility. And we'll then end up disagreeing potentially about what to do in a particular situation. Another possibility though is that you strongly believe in justice and I strongly believe in justice, but we mean something different when we use those terms. And one of the challenges is always going to be to be able to explain what we mean by the terms we use. So when I say the reason that I'm uh, supportive of this particular uh, decision is that I've got a concern for justice, you're going to want to be able to ask me, well, what do you mean by justice there? And I'll tell you, I mean, uh, I think everybody ought to have a fair, uh, reasonable, distribution of benefits and burdens so that nobody is especially favored or disenfranchised by a particular uh, action. Now that's a, only one account of justice, but it's the one that I'm using in this particular case, and now you have a better sense of where I'm coming from. Ethical analysis matters, and there are better and worse ways of justifying an ethical decision. Really what we're looking for in ethical analysis is a justification of a decision or of an action or of a valuation that something is good or bad, right or wrong, the thing that we ought to do or the thing that we ought to refrain from doing. And so ethical analysis leads us from a description of a situation to uh, what we call a normative conclusion, that is what we ought to do about that situation. A description yields what is the case, an analysis yields an ought statement, a characterization of what it is we should do, what we ought to do, what is the morally or ethically correct thing to do.
when we engage in ethical analysis, we are trying to decide not just what is the case, but what should be the case. This is the distinction between an is and an ought. An is is a description of the state of affairs. An ought is a characterization of what we should do to change that state of affairs. And so it's really important for us to understand this distinction between is, which is what, say, a scientist brings to, a, uh, to an equation, and ought, which is what an ethicist brings. And it's really a very tricky business to get from a description of a state of affairs, what is the case, to uh, some kind of statement about what we should do. It requires ethical reasoning, and that can be a very challenging enterprise. A description of an ethical situation tells us what the issues are. An analysis of an ethical situation tells us what we ought to do at the end of the day. And it's very challenging to move from an is description to an ought normative statement. Uh, some people are inclined to do it just by thinking that is is generate oughts. So that something is the case tells us something about what should be the case. That's not the way ethical analysis works. Ethical analysis requires us to add some normative component, typically a principle or a value or a rule that does a kind of transformation and that enables us to get from uh, where we are now to a description of what we ought to do. There are lots of different ethical principles and values and theories out there in the world. In another video, uh, I'll tell you more about some of the standard ethical approaches, the ethical theories and principles that people typically appeal to as they're engaging in ethical reasoning. For now, I want to keep this a little bit more uh, on the surface and just say that what we're trying to get at in ethical analysis is a justification of a should or ought statement and that's going to require us to do more than just identify what is currently the case or the way things have been in the past. There are lots of ways to resolve disagreements, right? We can do it with knives, we can do it with fists, uh, we can do it with laws, censorship, oppression. There are lots of fairly brutal ways of resolving disagreements. What ethics affords us and what ethics as civics affords us is an opportunity to resolve disagreements in a more humane, a more progressive, a more useful and productive way. Brutality is an option, ethics is another. Let's choose ethics.